Hello and welcome to Sebastian this week on Channels Television. I'm Bukola Joe Oketumbi and we're reaching you from the Muritela Mohamed Airport 2 in Lagos. It's that time of the year where there's an upsurge in passenger traffic as many inbound and outbound passengers make last minute efforts to reach their destination. On this edition of the program, we take a look at how passengers are faring and how the airport authority is also coping with the upsurge as well as the airlines. That's our package for this week. Come along with us as we bring you a background report. This is what the interior of one of the aviation terminals in Lagos looks like this time of the year, especially the run-up to Christmas. Passengers and their luggage stacked and some taking positions on the ground. The Hamatan season is also not helping. Here at the Murtala Mohammed Airport 2, a flight has just arrived and passengers make their way out. For this family from Port Harcourt, it's a story of jostling for the few seats available. There's a lot of passengers. No seats, you know, most times you have to book and wait. You know, there's no space. I book online, so I wish to get space before then. About three weeks ago, the cost of an economy class return flight ticket from Lagos to Abuja hovered around 50,000 naira and above. Those who booked 48 hours ahead of their journey were charged between 27,000 naira to 31,000 naira for an economy ticket. Other economy class tickets for 7 a.m., 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. flights were going for 37,100 naira, 30,600 naira and 35,100 naira. While Abuja and three other routes remain the prime, limited seats on some other routes come at a slight increase in price. The last time I came to Lagos, it was 48,000 um, to and fro. But this time around, I paid 52,000. So just about 4,000. The situation in the country, I think the airlines are trying to give us service. Um, they've not been too bad in their service. The, the flights are almost on time and the regularity is okay. We know what's going on. We know how difficult things are. Even the first scarcity, the, the difficulty in, in doing business in Nigeria, I think the airlines are trying. And the government, the government is also doing its best. Airline officials say pricing at this time follows the law of demand and supply. Some other passengers say the fares are not bad and the comfort level is fair. I want to see change in their services. It was bad and they didn't say anything. Rather, they just sent us text message and um, that was all. And the fuel was supposed to be fine by that, which wasn't cool. The schedule, keeping time and running on time, you know, once we can maintain that, you know, then the regularity will be restored. That's all. While the increased passenger numbers normal at this time, the airport authority also asks passengers to arrive for their trips ahead of time. I would advise our passengers and all airport users to leave home on time. They should factor in traffic and then the delay that they'll experience on that road, get to the airport early. Of course, they know that they're supposed to check in early so that they don't have issues, you know, catching up with their flights and all of that. And but I want to assure them that if they want to travel, they should get to the um, counter of the airline and ask questions at the counter, not from just anybody, you know, in any of our public um, concourses. If they do that too, they'll be helping fun too to eliminate touting at our airports. It's also promising easy facilitation and comfort. We have um, ensured that at our public concourses, screening is done smoothly, no delays for anybody. We have um, also ensured that um, all of our lounges are comfortable. We have also worked on our carousels. We've serviced them. They are working optimally. We've lived our security at all of our airports across the nation. Um, there are these constant patrols all over the land side and the air side. And of course, if you know you have no business in the airport, you will not be allowed in. While traveling anywhere can be really stressful, especially during the festive periods, there's a need to plan ahead for the journey and book a ticket from the comfort of one's home.
On our interview segment, an airline official lets us into our fares are fixed. He adds that the farther the distance, the more the cost. Passengers of 